Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Michael Ashley, N8XW, and he has an ICOM radio fuse question. Now, uh, I'll show you this fuse for uh, my Yesu FT101. Uh, this part right here goes down by the battery and they give you a lot of cable this part goes into the back of the battery and then down at the bottom they have this bear I put a little Anderson power pole plug on it and they have two fuses one in each line um, way down by where this would connect to the battery now, I don't know why they do this on the FT-DX3000 because it's definitely not a mobile rig. But uh, this is also repeated on uh, all manufacturers, most manufacturers, uh, VHF rigs. And I did get one from Redivus recently that just had a cigarette lighter plug on it. But these are intended to go directly to the battery. Now you may ask, why is there a fuse in each lead? Shouldn't there just be a fuse in the hot lead? And let me tell you why that is before we go on to answer Jason's questions. Jason's question is this. I have an ICOM radio and the radio specification call for an FGB 20 amp fuse be inserted in each of the positive and negative supply leads to the radio. I cannot find these fuses anywhere except on ICOM radio documentation. Is this fuse proprietary to ICOM? ICOM wants an arm and a leg for these fuses. Can a fast blow AGC fast acting glass fuse, uh, glass tube fuse, which measure about the same as the FGB fuse be used? What about using an ATC blade 20 amp 32 volt fuse, a fast blow also in line from the supply to the radio? Thanks in advance for your input. Now, before we jump in to uh, answer uh, Michael's question, I would like to pay special attention to Jason. Jason is my most recent patron. He just signed up in the last couple days. And by being a patron uh, it, through patreon.com, he helps support the channel with channel funds. You too can become a patron by going to Patreon dot com slash ke zero o g so let's move to this question so if we put the car battery here and it's got a positive and a negative and these go to the radio okay like this, and there is in each of them a fuse. Okay, a fuse right there. 20 amp, 20 amp, or 25 amp, 25 amp, okay. And then the radio is over here. Now, you would ask, why on earth, this is the radio, why on earth would we want to put a fuse in that black lead that's connected to the chassis after a while. Well, that's the problem. From the, you can follow this in your car, from the negative lead, there's a wire that goes over and attaches to the chassis, often attached with a large bolt, and then everything else is done off the hot wire. If for some reason, this bolt becomes less than secure here or here. The entire chassis of the car, we'll use the symbol for chassis, the entire chassis from the car is trying to go down this lead because this here is attached to the chassis where it's mounted. And that will blow this fuse and keep there. Otherwise, you could have a fire. It's putting quite a bit of power through there. So if you do have that problem and that fuse blows, check these connections uh, here in your car. Okay, now for an ordinary, 
radio we wouldn't mind. Now let's look at these fuses. This is, again, it's the Yesu. These fuses right here, if you uh, pop these up, had them popped up just a minute ago. These are 25 amp automotive fuses. 25 amp, right there, okay. Now, in my fuse collection here, I've got a bunch of fuses and the ATC fuses for this are actually color coded. This very yellowish, kind of yellow here, see there's a darker yellow here, and different colors for different values of fuses. They can be replaced with these fuses if they blow. If they blow again, you need to find out why. Okay. Um, these are cylindrical fuses, and these can be used too, as long as they're, I think, fast blow is probably the best for those. Okay. So that shows you the type of fuses that you can use. So to answer your question, no, they do not have to be a proprietary fuse. Now, there are two kinds of fuses, fast blow and slow blow. The slow blow allow a momentary um, high current to pass without blowing the fuse, but if it's sustained, it will pop. The fast blow fuses pop as soon as uh, it exceeds that uh, fuse amount uh, in any way. So um, these are fast blow fuses for the Yesu, and you can use that too in yours. Don't defeat that ground uh, side fuse because that can create um, a rare safety uh, problem, uh, but not so rare that uh, about 30 years ago they changed the way they did the fusing on the leads. The reason you run the uh, leads all the way to the battery is to try to avoid picking up noise created by the automobile's electrical system. The battery is holds very constant at whatever voltage it's at. And so it tends to smother the noise at that point right there. Okay, so I think that answers your question. Um, and you can use whatever fuse you need in there, but don't, don't um, defeat them. Don't pass them by. Now, if you're in a situation like in a regular station like this, um, you only need the fuse in the positive lead. Uh, and in fact, I've got a power strip back there that's got a bunch of fuses in it. Here is the reference station power supply. And these are fuses, the same kind of fuses, different amounts that go into the different leads that are used. See, these use power pole connections here, and they have an associated fuse. Now, I would not use that to substitute for uh, the fuse. See, here in my ICOM uh, 7310, I'm sorry, here in my ICOM 7300 radio are the inline fuses. There. Are the uh, inline fuses. This is also a 25 right there. And I went ahead and used the entire power cord uh, for this radio, although only that last little bit is needed. If you do shorten the power cable, make sure to keep these in the circuit as it goes to the radio. This is the radio input right here. Okay. So there you have it. A little glimpse of how radios are fused in the base station environment and in a mobile environment. Um, and the idea is whatever fuses they put in the line, make sure if you shorten the line that you leave those fuses in the line, don't wire around them. They're there for important safety reasons, 
better to replace a 50 cent fuse than it is to uh, replace your station when you, a fire starts there. So safety first. So there you have it. Before I go, I would like to point out that most of the people who watch this channel are not subscribers. I would encourage you to become a subscriber. It costs you nothing. You just click on it, become a subscriber. And then that is your vote of confidence in this channel. And also, uh, I would encourage you to go to decastlercom support for ways that you can help provide channel funds for the operation of this channel. And until we next meet, 73.